Hello and welcome back to another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. My name is Dawn and today we'll be doing another little review. We'll be looking at some of the watercolor pencils that I found here in Belize as well as a brush pen. So I stepped into my local craft store last week and they said we got in their supplies of brush pen and they showed me this brush pen it's from Milan and I think that's the supplier they used a lot at my local craft store so we'll be reviewing the Milan brush pen and today we'll be looking at the watercolor pencils that I found here in Belize and I found three types I found the Crayola watercolor pencils I found the Milan aqua aquarelle excuse me and I found the pointer lapis and we'll be looking at how these perform so first the Milan watercolor pencils as you can see it states here that it's twisted barreled it fills up to eight milliliters and it calls back by twisting and in English it says brush with refill eight millimeters barrels for watercolor watercolor pencils ink and techniques that require fluid media synthetic brush four millimeters diameter with liquid regulation button hmm. so let's check it out so as you can see this is the water brush and it looks like a pretty basic water brush to me I'll be comparing it to this water brush I previously ordered this online I believe this is an Ahuhu brand water brush and it does have a decent size tip as you brush as you can see it feels pretty good pretty soft i like the feeling of it and i already filled it with water and it holds a decent amount of water so i didn't fill it all the way up so let's see how this brush operates and we're gonna test it with our watercolor pencils that we have here we have the pointer watercolor pencil and what I like about these watercolor pencil is that it is pastel and if you've ever worked with pastel inks before you know that they can be a little messy so these are pastel watercolor pencils and I've never worked with these before I've had them for a while the other watercolor pencils we'll be looking at today is these these are the Crayola watercolor pencils I found these also here at the local um, stationery store here in Belize and I'm really anxious to see how these works and finally I have my Milan aquarelle watercolor pencils and I love these so what's so amazing about these watercolor pencils well first the Milan the Milan watercolor pencils um, they are triangular shaped um, I guess this is the staff of the watercolor pencils it does have a pretty good nib the one nib sorry um, lead the one thing I don't like about the lead here in the Milan watercolor pencils it's very very soft so if you're very heavy-handed like me it can easily break so we're gonna swatch them out and I'm gonna show you what it all looks like So after swatching them all out, this is what I can tell you about them. The pastel color pencils, as expected, is very dusty and very chalky. And the Crayola watercolor pencils is, I guess, okay. And the Milan watercolor pencil, the lead is very soft. The tip of the leg broke with me three times. I guess I'm very heavy handed. So what I'm gonna do now is watch them out to see how far I can let these watercolor bleeds. And I'm gonna be using my brand new Milan water brush. And it has M here, I guess it's a medium. So let's check it out. 
Okay, a big thing here is that the water, see, I'm trying to stick it on the, but it keeps popping off, so I guess it can't stick on the back like the Ahuhu brand can. It keeps popping off, but anyway, it says push. Let me see if I could push, and let's see how much water I could pull out of it. This is the first time I'm using it. Let's see how does water come out? Like it comes out as expected. So let's see how much these coloring pencils. So we're gonna do this for everyone. As you can see we're done and um, all in all I think they swatched out pretty good um, the one thing I like about the Milan Aquarelle is when it's swatched out into wa with water the color co becomes so clean and beautiful and look I'm even working back over this color and I can do that with the Milan I can't do that so much with the Crayola watercolor as you can see you can still see some of the scratchiness of the water of the pencil when I tried to pull out the water. I didn't do brown. Oh my goodness, I forgot the brown. You can still see the scratchiness underneath whereas the Milan is completely gone. Even the pointer water um pastel watercolor pencil did the same thing. You can still see some of the scratchiness from the pencil underneath the watercolor. So now I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to be comparing how the Milan water brush compares to the Ahuku water brush. We already know that the Ahuku, the cover can go back on the back of the brush so you can for better storage whereas the Milan it keeps popping off so it can't stay so I just have to be careful where I put the cover so first I'm gonna try the Ahuhu and I'm just gonna try to see how much watercolor I can bleed or pull out from this pencil swatch here and I'm using the three of them pointers lap the pointers pastel watercolor brush watercolor pencil sorry on the top Crayola in the middle and the Milan watercolor pencil in the end and now I'm going to do the Milan water brush and oops I dropped a point of water there but this is supposed to be a watercolor paper anyway 90 pound weight the one thing I could say about this Milan water brush it cleans completely and I kind of enjoy that Okay, and there we go. As you can see, they both behave the same when it comes to the brush department. They both behave the same. They both do their job. And yeah, I'm, I, I'm trying to get both at about the same size because this is also a medium. I'm not sure if it's a four millimeter, but it is a medium size. And this is a medium size as well. So we're gonna come colored this character that I drew and we're going to use the same colors for all three of them with the different colors we're going to use the pointer pastel watercolor on top the Crayola in the middle and the Milan on the end just as if we did it here
there we go as you can see I tried to use the same colors um, the pointer pastel comes with this colors here and it doesn't look like a yellow to me because these two has yellow I'm more thinking it's more like a yellow ochre than a yellow because it has that yellow ochre feel I tried to do some blending with it and I did manage to blend out the orange a little bit and not to make it as dark and to make it has a little more yellow than it originally came with I also did the same with the Crayola wait these are the, no sorry these two the Crayola and as you can see it, it did washed out and I was able to do a little blending with it and I was able to bring out the colors a little bit and to blend it as a watercolor it's primarily here around the tail region and the Milan worked excellently it performed almost like watercolor it there was no streakiness there was no abrasiveness left by the watercolor pencil it came out beautifully especially when when I wanted to pull out some of the blending and blend it as a watercolor around the tail region it came out and it blend beautifully there so thank you very much and see you next time on another scrapbooking in the waste